right. Hello, hello. Um, first of all, welcome everyone to our newest class. This is selling a new service and specifically selling a crow cult service. Um, what we're going to do today is walk you through how to convert some of your current clients into crow cult clients and also to grow your perm clientele um, with the crow cult service. Um, my name is Lauren Kenoki. I am the director of education here at Crow Cult. Um, hopefully you've seen me other places, um, but I, I am definitely um, excited to present this new class to you guys with Miss Shannon, who is one of our senior cult leaders um, and also a like rock star salesperson. So she actually <laughs> helped create um, some of this curriculum with us today. Shannon, do you want to introduce yourself real quick? Thank you, Lauren. Yes, my name is Shannon Decola. I work here in New Jersey for Curl Cult. I am nice and on the East Coast. And yeah, I'm really excited to be here. I love selling services. It's definitely um, helps bring confidence to ourselves and confidence to the people in our chairs. So that's really important for everybody today. Thanks. Um, this is going to be a pretty quick 30 minute class. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to um, put any of them in either the Q&A box or the chat and we will answer those for you. Um, also, if you are watching this not live and have questions, feel free to DM us with any follow ups along the way. Um, but we will go ahead and get started. I will share my screen. There it is. All right. All right, so learning learning how to grow your texture clientele. So we're going to start off with just a slide with a lot of information. Um, but really where I want to start and then I'll let um, Shannon kind of dive into some of this as well is that we as hairstylists are problem solvers. First and foremost, we have our clients sit in our chair. And ultimately, if you think about what they say to us when they're talking about what they want during a consultation, they're oftentimes describing to us something that they don't like about their hair, that they want to change. Um, and they're really coming to you for your professional guidance. Um, you know, we are the ones who have all of the tools in the toolbox, and we can help them decide which of those tools are best for us to um, take care of them and get them, um, you know, the hair that they've always wanted. Um, and like we've said in many of our other classes, um, that a curl cult service is really a texture solution. So this is not just making straight hair curly. This is providing a client who doesn't love their natural texture, whether it's straight and flat, curly, frizzy, um, with a service that can help them have an easier to style um, and more manageable uh, daily uh, hair routine. I think that's ultimately um, what a curl cult service can do. Um, Shannon, I'd love just to, you know, not necessarily reading, re reading off the slides, but mm -hmm. um, when you have a client in your chair, where do you usually start? And let's maybe even say this is a current client of yours um, who hasn't really thought of a texture service before. Yes. So most of my guests aren't people who come to me asking for a texture service. They're mostly people, I wouldn't say I convince them, but I definitely talk them through starting it. And I definitely plant a seed in their head about what the service can do. Um, most of the time when they sit in my chair, they tell me all their issues and I'm hearing what they're saying. And I don't want to start off with, well, I have the solution. I know exactly what you need. I just ask them so many questions on what they would want, how they would want to fix it, what their maintenance would be like to fix it, um, and if they could do anything that they could possibly want to change it, would they? And they usually say yes. And then I explain the service that I do. I explain the difference of it because even when I say the word perm, uh, people are immediately like, I have PTSD. And then I just show them our Instagram and I show them the curl cult, everything. And I show them our calic fixes, our braids. I show them everything that is possible. And then their eyes like widen up and they're just like, oh, okay. So then they feel a lot more confident. Uh, definitely starting with that initial conversation, listening to them, let them react. Um, 
I do get very excited because I know what this service can do for them. I know that what I can do to help them in their chair and help them in everyday life. Um, but I ultimately let this decision be theirs and be their own. And as much as excited as I am for it, I let them book it. I let them move it around. I let them know that the maintenance is not too strong. So they could feel super, super comfortable even getting it done every once in a while. There's no harsh line of commitment right there. So yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And you know, you know, the the kind of main thing on here after the the clients looking for our guidance is that pace is important. And I think, you know, you you hit on it that you want you want to give them the information, but you ultimately kind of want it to be their idea. Um, Cause you never want to push someone into something that they're not comfortable with. Um, but I have found that even just starting that conversation, like plants a little seed and it may not be that, you know, that first conversation or even the second, but sometimes that third or fourth, like that interest just continues to grow. Um, so the more you continue to just share um, your knowledge uh, about it, your excitement about it and um, you know, how it can truly help them, um, is, is definitely, um, important. Um, and yeah, like let's, let's talk about the word perm for a second, because yeah. I like, you know, this is something that, you know, for the last year, being a part of Curl Cult and bringing perms back, I don't know if you've heard that, <laughs> but it's a loud honk, um, but bringing perms back, um, is, is definitely a feat. And, you know, if you're not comfortable trying to convince someone that this isn't a perm, like we as, um, you know, curl cult leaders and founders, we can't bring this in front of a group of stylists and say, yo, it's not a perm because ultimately it's doing the same chemical process as a perm. So technically it is, but to a client, you don't have to use that word if you don't want to. You can say this is a custom texturizing service. It can be a retexturizing service. Um, so lean into something that you are comfortable talking about. Um, and if that hurdle isn't something you are comfortable trying to get your clients over, you don't have to call the perm. We are totally cool with you calling it whatever you want on your menu, on your blog, on your social media. Like we are happy to support any way you get a client into your chair um, to get the service, whether you call it a perm or not. Um, but yeah, it is it is fun to like break those barriers down though. One when you show them the Instagram or when they see their hair for the first time after getting it, um, the whole idea changes and you can really see it. Um, relay off of your client. Yep. Um, you had this point um, of the questions to ask um, and you kind of touched on it a little bit, but um, I'd love if you could just dive in um, to just a little bit of these and why you ask them, because um, when you brought this to me, I was like, this is brilliant. Like ask them, you know, if they could change anything, what would it be? So I'd love if you could just kind of dive in a little bit more on these. So I started getting into asking these questions because I wanted to do, I wanted to do this service so badly. I wanted to do curl cult perms so badly in my chair that I knew that I was just going to take a little bit of extra work. So it was mostly um, for my hair, my hair cutting guests that come in and I would see their hair and I would see the potential that they would have in their hair so that's when I started asking the questions of do you like the texture of your hair and I just like try to ask it as normal as possible not in an insulting way at all just like as I'm cutting it um and and their lifestyle and what they try to do and most of the time they're like sometimes it's wavy sometimes it's really like whatever so I usually just blow dry it because it's the easiest thing I could do and I'm like, okay, but you you have like a beautiful potential in your hair. Like I see texture, even though it's not consistent. Um, so if I ask them if they have a choice, what would they do with their hair? If they could have more volume or texture or wave, most of them say that um, they would like to have some volume, some texture, some movement. It's just very flat and plain and they would just like it to hold a curl. So even talking about giving them a blow dry and how they're going to have a support with their curl cult wave, it's going to benefit their hair so much. And um, as I cut their hair as well, I'm like, go on, do you have Instagram? And they're like, yeah, I'm like, okay, go on Instagram and just look through it. And like, that's the one that I think that would look great on your hair texture and your type. 
And it's usually just at least something that they think about all the time whenever they leave. Yeah. Yeah. And I love to, um, you know, thinking about your clients also who have naturally curly hair. Um, and if they are like struggling with it, fighting against it, they're blowing it out all the time because it doesn't have a nice consistency to it. Those are also great candidates for perms and they can, you can ask these same questions to them um, and get you down that road as well. I think some of my favorite perm clients are those that have kind of a, a little bit of a natural curl to it, um, but it's not a nice like actual pattern. It's just kind of frizzy and sits there and they, they do everything they can to try to like scrunch and make it, make it look great, but um, they just fight against it. And um, the second they get a perm in their hair, it, it's like it was what their hair was always supposed to be. Um, and I think that's, that's something that's interesting too, is, um, you know, that's, this isn't just for um, one type of person, it's for um, a lot of different types of people. Um, I love um, the listen for cues of cues of convenience. So um, we've always said that, you know, this is a great service for people who do things already that um, cut down like time in their daily lives. So, um, you know, if they're getting microbladed, if they're getting the like eyeliner tattoo, like that's kind of popular lip brushing, like these people don't want to sit there, do a full face of makeup. Do they also want to sit there and like style their hair for 30 minutes a day? Probably not. Um, but even like not beauty related, like if someone's talking about like just how busy they are and how much time they don't have in the day and they don't even have time to cook themselves dinner they're eating out all the time like those are cues of convenience where if you're like hey like you know you spend how much time you spend styling your hair you know you could spend five minutes instead of that um that might be another little um opening into um you know converting a client into a, a curl cult client um, and then ultimately being knowledgeable and able to answer any of their questions is super important that's where you gain trust um, you know, being able to talk about why it's different, why curl cult is different, what the results will feel like, what they will look like, and answer even like down to some of the like more technical and technological questions as well. Um, so just making sure that you're brushed up on all that information so that you can answer any questions that they have. Um, and then like Shannon said, showing them real life results. Um, is definitely important and our Instagram is a great place to do that but also as you build your book show them your own Instagram and the looks that you yourself have created uh, anything else you want to touch on on any of those um, sometimes I ask people if they're a night shower or a morning shower and hmm. if they tell me that they're a morning shower I'm just like great fantastic do your thing put some product in and go if you're a night shower it'll still work fantastic but you either want to shower and let your hair dry a little bit, or you want to do a nice little wet to dry set while you're sleeping, just to make sure they're not waking up with like some dents in your hair. So I also like to tell them that as well. Yeah, that's a great, great tidbit. Um, and then last thing, we don't need to dive too far into this, but this is something I think we always need to be reminded of is that our time is valuable and our prices are what they are for a reason. We are getting paid for our expertise, um, our knowledge and our skill. Um, and you don't know what someone is willing to spend their money on. So stay out of their pocketbook, tell them what the price is, don't be apologetic. And if, if it, they're, they're excited about it, they will do it. If it's too much, you may be able to work out some sort of um, scenario where they get it done once a year and fades out instead of twice a year. So um, just want to add that because it's always a good reminder for us as professionals to, yep. to think Never about. Never assume someone doesn't have money. That is exactly very Exactly. All right. So this is kind of a fun little... Um, little game here. So just some things that you can listen for um, during um, consultations, conversations that you're having with clients or even just people out in the world. I can't tell you how many times I'm just like at like out somewhere chatting and um, that like somehow you being a hairstylist comes up and then they start asking all these questions. And um, that's a great way to, to meet people and gain new clients as well. Um, but so um, 
heating solution form so that their hair is flat, that they're low maintenance. Um, if the hair doesn't hold, like oftentimes getting a perm just so that it can hold some like even heat styled texture is super helpful. Um, if they're feeling frustrated um, with their styling or if they're bored and just want something different, um, if they have cowlicks um, or if they fight frizz, um, all of these things can be solved with a curl cult service. Um, and I don't know if you want to kind of talk through the afters and what what they can really give you. Yes, especially when they are flat and doesn't hold. These are great to add body, to have some wash and go styles, add texture. It really does. It styles itself. Um, frizz free. We do a lot of curl reformation, as we were talking about earlier, where people are just frustrated with their inconsistent curls. And we're able to just give them a little bit more consistency in their hair, a little bit more um, definition in their, their curls. And then we have, sorry, this is in my way. And then we have corrected. Uh, yeah, so like we can correct um, calyx and just moving things that are always growing in a weird direction in our little worlds. I know some salons even hate the word calyx, so but there's something that we could really fix and just benefit. I've done also a lot of straight perms on just bobs so that they could lay flat and people don't have to blow dry them as much. Um, so I just see it as a multi-use thing and I love it so much. Awesome. Great, great. All right. So now I know this is about selling your service, but a consultation is a big part of that. So we just wanted to go over some key consultation tips um, and to really, you know, do do that thing that um, you learn over time as a stylist to under promise and over deliver um, that always will get you a, you know, a, um, a satisfying result for your client is setting setting and manage, managing ex, like realistic expectations. So um, with mastering your consultation, um, we obviously want to know our client's hair history um, if they are not your current client, you want to ask a lot of good questions about that. I'm sure Shannon, you have had many clients sit in your chair and be like, I have virgin hair. And then you do some sort of a process on them and you're like, you've been virgin for about Led. six months. Yeah. Led me. And the rest of it was a bleach and tone to a level 11. And then you put box dye over it. So, Absolutely. um, Yep, we've all been there. Um, so you want to make sure that you ask those questions. And if for some reason they, the answers seem a little dicey or like they are uncertain about timing of things, um, that's obviously when you would lean into the strand before any service just to ensure the integrity of the hair and that the curl pattern will be what you're looking for. Um, and inspo photos. Um, do you have your um, consultation clients send you inspiration photos? They never really send me any photos, but they used to. And they used to always show me like a curling iron set. And you're just like, that's unrealistic. That is not uh, anything. I I usually look at them and I'd be like, it's going to look like my waves. It's like the loosest wave you're going to look. You know, that's more. Yes, it's very organized, but it's also very natural. Um, we are not perfect people out here. No one should be. Uh, so we will not have that type of thing. Even though if you look at these pictures, especially the bottom one at the left, like those curls just put together still look just so organized. They're just not with a curling iron. Um, yep. So definitely setting realistic expectations and showing them what natural curly hair can be like. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I will say too, I love to ask my um, consultation clients for photos that they don't like too. Yeah. So like send me a bunch of photos that you do and a bunch of ones that you don't. So then, you know, when you're setting the hair and choosing your rod size, what not to do as well as where they would like to go. That's really helpful. Um, and like when, when we're talking about setting realistic expectations, yeah, we want to, um, to manage what they envision the end result will be because um, as we've mentioned in many of our other uh, more technical certification classes and things like that, because our, A, because our solution is cysteamine based, it's less damaging, um, it makes more medium strength curls, but we also have that protein in it, which creates the softness. Um, so if your client wants stand on top of their head 
like the the perm from the 80s but maybe a more modern version um curl cult might not be their cup of tea because what they're going to get is more natural soft results um not that roughed up dry cuticle um that can like live in this like uh, you know teased uh oh. <laughs> exactly exactly um so setting those expectations but what's important with that too is if that's what they want um i do think it's really important to have a conversation with them um about hey i can give you that but the health of your hair will suffer you know we could also do this other thing which would be the curl cult service and we might not get it quite as like tight, tight, curly and voluminous, but you're gonna get some really great texture in there that you can work with and we can work with a cut to create that shape um, and your hair will feel a lot better longer. So I think that's important to, to bring up too, is to give them the option as well. Like, you know, to get this look, your hair's gonna have to suffer. To get this one, it's gonna feel really nice and healthy, so. You know, those are definitely um, things to consider. Yeah. Um, how many of your clients refuse to get haircuts after their? Oh, birth? I don't let them. Good. They all they all have to. So I kind of include a haircut in my perms so that it's like mandatory for them because it's just also so silly to say you perm a one length haircut. It just doesn't do what I want it to do. It will never do what I want it to do. You need some type of layering, even if it's just like internal layers where you take out gaps in the hair. Um, and I even offer for them to come in two weeks later and they can book a bang trim and I will recut their perm two weeks after I've permed their hair. So, that, so I, it's all about building that trust and confidence. And that's just something that I do not mind taking out of my day in order for them to feel comfortable. Um, so I always offer that for them as well. And majority of the time they don't come back and sometimes they do, you know, it's it's all about their own preference and what's bothering them and how I can make it better. Um, but cutting your hair with a perm is essential and our perms are only as good as our haircuts and our products, guys. So if, yep. even if they say that they don't wanna do products at home, it's just not realistic for them to have this service. Um, because then it's, you're going to go back to that frizzy, unorganized hair that they're just going to put up in a hair tie or a bun. And yep. that's just not fair to like anybody, honestly. No, no. And it's okay in your consultation if you get to this point and they're unwilling to spend the money on product and or a haircut. It's okay for you as the artist to say, I don't think you're a good candidate. And that's, you know, that doesn't mean you won't get get any more perms in your chair, but you also have to remember your own, um, you know, artistic value and what you want walking around out there um, with your name on it. So I would say like one out of every 10 people, I'll, I'll be like, this is probably not the service for you if, if that's like if XYZ is what you're looking for, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so definitely um, the results are dependent on natural density and hair type. Um, I think I have had numerous um, very fine haired, um, flat haired models and clients show me these pictures of like someone with like five heads of hair and it's like curl just like stacked and stacked and stacked on top of itself. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry, but no, no texture service is gonna get you there. <laughs> like only so, eight pounds of extensions and a perm yes. and a haircut and products yes. and <laughs> yes but like the perm will change your texture yes but it won't change your hair type yeah. like you're not going to all of a sudden have thick dense hair after a perm yeah. um so keeping that that um in the front of their mind as well and then shannon already touched on just how important the at-home care is setting them up with what to expect what they should um, plan on purchasing to support their new look um, and what the maintenance is for returning to um, get another service, which luckily for Curl Cult, it is very low maintenance and kind of can be dependent on what the, um, what the client wants um, in terms of like, we have some guests that get 
one perm and then let it fade out almost completely out over the course of a year and then they re-up and, and do it again. So um, other other people are getting it done every three months because they want to like keep that that extra curly look up. So, um, but just, yeah, setting them up for success at home is, is important. Um, anything else you want to share on this slide? No, I think, I think we said everything. Yeah. I think we're good. All right. So next thing up um, is pun intended, promote yourself. <laughs> um, <laughs> so here are some ways that you can make sure that clients can find you. So this isn't necessarily about converting your current clients. This is about finding new ones. Um, so you want to make sure that this is added to your website, your service menu, your booking um, software, because I will tell you, we have had people DM us, clients DM us and say, I can't find anyone in my area that does your service. And we go on our salon locator and we're like, there are these four to five people who are certified. You guys actually and got then, to that too. Yeah. I got, and got then, to no, but then they contact us back and they say, I checked their website and it's not on their web. Like the service oh. is not on the website. So there's some like confusion, like, yes, they can find us on the salon locator. And a lot of times that's just enough, but a lot, oftentimes they want to see that, like, it's actually on there, what your prices are, like all of that stuff. So, um, make sure to, um, as soon as you're certified, add it to these things so that clients can easily, um, see that you do the service, um, at your salon. Yeah. Um, also add to your Yelp page services um, because people do rely just on Yelp sometimes and Google. Unfairly, um, but they do. So, yes. Yep. So you want to you wanna make sure it's all on everything um, that you are connected to. Um, and oftentimes too, when this is a new thing, place something that will be a conversation starter at your front desk um, with your opening order. I know you receive a shelf talker, putting that out in front so that guests will see it and ask about it um, is helpful just to start conversations. Um, and then you wanna talk about posting it on social media. Posting um, everything on social media is definitely super important. What I like to do, yes, you'll have your posts, but also try to do your highlights. You know, um, I like to record by process during the day and I like stories more than posts. That's just who I am. And they disappear within 24 hours. So make sure that you create a nice little highlight and you can put it as perms. You can put it as texture services. You could do it as whatever you like. And even for your other services, highlights, low maintenance hair color, all the above. Um, Definitely put it on your social media so that people can click it, maybe see the process all the way through that they're not just seeing a finished product and they're like, I'm going to sit there for 20 minutes and I'm going to be done. Um, so I think setting realistic expectations of also how long a service can take, which could be anywhere from hour and a half to three hours, depending on the person, depending on their hair. Um, so setting that up for them too, so that they feel comfortable. And then send an email out blast to your current clients because how sometimes we see people like once a month or once every three months. So people don't even realize that you do it. So I think it is very important to also send that message out. I'm very lucky for my team and my salon and they up talk my perms, even when they just see the product on the shelf and someone asks about the shampoo and conditioner and they'll just upsell it with me. So I'm very appreciative of them as well. I've trained them very well. <laughs> awesome um and then yeah uh, so you know definitely post that you do the service on your social media but also like consistently posting the service um and results on your social media is is important um rather than just having like one there so what what i recommend especially as you're getting started and growing this business is do um either like a half charge or a product charge of like a hundred dollars to do the service on someone who's going to be a great model for you um and kind of let you do your thing and show show what you can do um and you may want to do that as as often as like once or twice a month for the first couple months um to really grow that um part of your content um and don't be afraid too to like take multiple angles of the perm and then like repost it weekly um so you can use one person for multiple pieces of content um don't be don't don't think that reposting the same person in a different angle is going to be boring for um the people that are following you it's actually kind of fun to to do that um i also love um the posts 
of um, people who like come back three months later for a haircut and not a reperm, but you get to be like, hey, this is three months old. Look how great it looks. The kind of like yeah. update posts as well. Um, but just keeping it at the front of mind um, when people are looking at your page um, and, and really growing in that um, area. Um, something else that um, we do at our salon here um, in Los Angeles is we incentivize our current clients to send us referrals. So we have something called a three and free program. So if a client of yours sends you three people, um, they get a free service, whether it's a cut or a color. Um, and it's, awesome. a, yeah, it's, it's a great way to grow your business. Um, and so even just telling your perm clients, Hey, like if you are out there talking to someone and they ask about your hair and you send them my way, um, maybe they get 10% off their next perm, or if they send you three people, they get a free perm after that. So, um, incentivizing your clients to send you folks, um, especially in this, um, sort of category can be really helpful, um, because, you know, I feel like our, our clients are our best salespeople. They, they talk us up, they, they want, you know, to see us succeed, um, which is really fun. There are um, and then she too. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Best people. Yep. And then Shannon, I'd be interested um, on this last point. Um, when it's a busy day in your salon and you have a perm, like I put this in here because I just imagine, and this happens here, but like all the other clients are kind of like, what is she doing? Yes. What's going yeah. on over there? And like <laughs> it it sparks this conversation. So you just don't know if you'll get a client from one of your fellow stylists that wants the service um and if you're one of the only people one or two people that do it in your salon then um it can keep you really busy on that on that front does that happen to you yep so i am definitely the only person that perms in my salon and it it definitely has turned some heads even my guests have seen like other people get services done and they're like what is that and you're just like so excited to talk about it and like I said, my coworkers are really helpful in promoting perms with me, even though they don't necessarily do them. They look at their guests there and they hear their issues and they'll be like, oh, you should talk to Shannon because this perm can actually probably really help you out. Um, it's very, very interesting when I have multiple people getting haircuts and they're like in and out of the salon and then you're just sitting there doing the loveliest perm and like making some curly hair. So some people see the start to finish if they are getting color done. And some people only see me wrapping and some people only see me drying and cutting. So, but I think it definitely turns some heads. I think that because they're also not walking into it smelling awful in there that they're not even questioning if it's a perm or not, you know, they just see it going on and they're just super interested about it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, the last point of scheduling perms on busier salon days. So this is definitely for those salons that have multiple stylists, um, where basically everyone who's in any other chair in the salon can see what you're doing um, and start some conversations about it. It's a great way to get some some referrals from your fellow stylists. Even, even um, when people are talking, because my salon's very small. We only have like six chairs and usually three of us work on one and one is working behind us. So somebody will be saying something and I'll kind of just yell across the room and be like, I could perm that for you. And then like, I could just, I just hear it. And I just try to be super helpful. Yeah, I love that. I mean, why why not offer your service to, to get them the hair that sells itself for sure. Yeah. All right, so that is essentially um, the information that we have to share. I'm sure this will continue to grow as we continue to grow um, and, um, you know, have find new ways to share the service with our clients. Um, for anyone who um, has not done this already, just want a quick, um, you know, talk about our uh, pro portal. Um, you can use this QR code to sign up. You can get listed on our salon locator there, have first access to upcoming educational events and marketing assets. Um, this presentation 
documentation will be on there um, so you can revisit. Um, but also, um, if you have, if this is your first introduction to Curl Cult, you can um, get online certified there. We also have live online certification events that um, you can find on our events page on our website as well. Um, if you don't know your license number right now, up the top of your head, you can enter the new service 0922 and we'll know you are in this class. Um, and uh, Shannon, it was such a pleasure to have you on and talk about selling curl cults. Um, I think this is a great addition to, to our education um, and always excited to hear um, from our rock star sales salesperson um, you so what, what, you, what you do in, in salon. So thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here and happy birthday to Curl Cult, guys. Yes. Yes, it's our birthday tomorrow, one year launch. So super exciting. And you guys, lots more coming in, in the next year where we're excited to see where everything goes. So, all right. Thank you. Have a good rest of your Wednesday, everyone. And um, we will see you soon on another class. Thank you. Bye.